they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again with another Christmas gift. Well, the next gift is frankincense. How about Frankenstein? What? That's not even the same thing. Well, do you even know what frankincense is? No, but we could look it up. Too late, because we're doing Frankenstein by NECA. Raz Holly, hit the music! I know Halloween ended over a month ago, but I was not gonna wait to open up this Frankenstein figure based on the Universal movie of the same name from 1931. NECA figures can be weird. They can be hard to find or hard to miss, sturdy and well built, or break coming out of the box. But in general, retail price for a NECA figure seems fair for what you get for the money. In this case, $29.99 MSRP plus tax will get you this original horror show Frankenstein figure. Packaged in this beautiful display box with the poster from the movie on the front. Inside is a wonderful likeness of Boris Karloff as Frankenstein's monster. There's also a black and white variant for the purists out there as well. Like I said, I can't wait to take a look at this figure, so let's not waste any more time and take a look at Frankenstein by NECA. Okay, from NECA 2021, the original horror show, Frankenstein, the man who made a monster, as, as is shown here on the, uh, the poster for the film from 1931 um, with Colin Clive, Mae Clark, John Bowles, Boris Karloff, of course. And inside this box we have, let's open it up. Um, we have a Frankenstein's monster figure um, as depicted by Boris Karloff, um, as you can see here. Very, very cool. You can see the entire figure, nothing is hidden. I do like this style box that NECA has been using for a lot of figures recently and for the past few years, a lot of the horror figures, you might have seen the Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, so on and so forth. Boxes like this, poster on the front, figure on the inside. It's a uh, reusable box. Um, th this is something that I actually like. I like a reusable box. I like the fact that I'm not gonna have to throw this away that this isn't getting chucked out, that this isn't going to be filling up my fucking trash can um, so that I don't have to worry about that. And it's actually nice. It, you can display it like this, you can display it in the box, or you can take it out of the box and you, you can display it. Or when you're all done with it, you decide you don't want to display it right now, you want to put it away, you want to sell it to a friend, you want to give it away, who cares? Put it right back in the box and you're good to go and it's as good as new. And there he is on the side of the box. On the back, you have a couple of little posing options. Show some of the stuff that he came with. Um, but it's very, very simple. They have hidden all of the legal mumbo jumbo on the bottom of the box, which all I gotta say is that's thumbs up. Two thumbs up from old Dan Classic. You know how I feel about the legal mumbo jumbo and why it shouldn't be filling up our fucking packaging, especially when so many people leave the figure in the box for display, the legal mumbo jumbo doesn't need to be all popping out everywhere on the box. We don't need legal mumbo jumbo display in our homes, in our uh, rec rooms, in our toy rooms, in wherever the fuck uh, you are going to display this figure. And, um, but there's pretty much not much more to say. Let's get this figure out of the box and see what he looks like on the inside. Okay, so here he is outside of the box. And I will say, um, when it comes to NECA figures, when you're, when you do actually go to take them out of the box, realize that they make their figures, and this is for better or for worse, they make these as collectibles and they don't really expect people to take them out of the box. 
And, uh, and, and if you have any complaints, um, what they will say to you is, hey, uh, you know what? These are collectibles. You should have been more careful. And uh, m- maybe you should have. But, you know, when it comes to when you have points of articulation and things like that, these things should work perfectly right outside the box. And they're very um, stiff, <laughs> so to speak. Um, when it comes to these figures. And uh, yeah, he's not supposed to be the most poseable guy in the world. He is Frankenstein. He's a giant dead body man. Um, but come on. Um, you, you, I do want to be able to pose him and to, and you know be able to, to, to move his joints around. You made these things with the joints so that he could be posed. I don't expect to fucking set him up like Spider-Man or anything, but I should be able to move the arms around and shit and not worry about them popping off. Where I'm pulling this one up and I feel it getting tighter and tighter, I'm going to put it back down. I ain't trying to fucking break this thing right away. I thought I'd take pictures of it. Um, and it is a, it is a pretty fucking dope figure. And what did you buy it for is you bought it for the sculpt. You bought it for the look, the paint job. The paint job's great. The sculpt is great. This thing is a fucking badass figure. Um, fucking 100%. This is what, that's why they have them so clearly displayed in the box. This figure is, is 100% awesome as far as the sculpt is concerned. And for $30, not too bad at all. Yeah, you could drop 100 bucks on a 112 Collective uh, Mezco or Hot Toys figure um, of the, the Frankensteins, and those look great too. But this figure was $30. For $30, getting this not too bad. And that's not all. He, he comes with these hands that you can do your, you know, your uh, typical Frankenstein walking around, oh, fucking pose that you want to do. Um, also, he comes with a couple more pairs of hands. He's got um, some some reaching out hands. Ah, uh, that's a pretty cool. And he also has uh, another pair of hands uh, for holding things. In, and uh, so here's one. He's more of a, uh, holding something maybe in the palm of his hand or in between the fingers here. And then he has uh, more of an Italian, like, oh, hey, mama mia, uh, sort of uh, in there. Um, but yeah, not too shabby at all. That's And then he also comes with these uh, cool chains that you could put on them. And they almost, they almost look like they're made out of metal. Um, and they might be. They, they look seriously like they're made out of metal. I don't know if they are, um, but they even make a cool clinking sound like they're made out of metal. So that's pretty fucking cool. I didn't even know about that. That's awesome. Also, he comes with the little daisies from the scene um, with, the, with the little chick um, where he's hanging out and, she, and then he chucks her in the water and it's awesome. But anyway, he also comes with two heads. Two more heads, I should say. Um, one head, he, he's kind of like a sarcastic Frankenstein. I guess he's supposed to be more angry, um, but he's coming off like, yeah, fucking whatever, dude. Like, sort of, sort of look on the face. And uh, this one, um, a, a happy, a smiling, a, a happy-go-lucky, grinning Frankenstein. Um, so, wow. Um, so at the end of the day, you've got all these options for, for setting them up and posing them and putting them on. If you're a fan of the Universal Monsters, if you are a fan of Boris Karloff's Frankenstein, um, this is a must, must get. And uh, another thing NECA has been pretty good about, or at least when it comes to these figures, these were not hard to find. These were, were literally just falling off the fucking shelves up until just recently. I got this at my local comic book store. There's also a black and white variant figure. I, I think it looks exactly the same. It's just in black and white colors. Looks more, you know, uh, as it would on the, on the screen for you. But um, for me, I wanted the color version. I like all the little extra details. Not that it's, you know, popping with color or that it should be. It, it's really, really cool. And this, if you're going to have something Thing that you want to have of, of Frankenstein's monster. This should be for someone that's not willing to drop a hundred bucks on a figure, or maybe you want to take this to your office and put something on your desk, but you're not willing to, you know, put a, a fucking saw buck on your desk overnight and have it stolen or broken or or, or, or fucked with by everybody else that you work with for thirty bucks. 
you can bring this into work and you can you can not worry about it and you can hand it off to somebody they can look at it and hopefully it won't break um so far it's been pretty cool but i, I won't make any guarantees when it comes to neca but as far as i'm concerned this figure as far as it is it worth the money hell yes it's worth the money frankenstein my favorite of the universal monsters i had to had to absolutely had to get this figure and i'm glad i did and i'm glad i opened him up for christmas time um <laughs> so there he is it's frankenstein well, that's NECA's take on Frankenstein. What did you guys think of this figure? Let us know in the comments down below. I think this is ridiculous. Well, maybe next week we'll get you in the Christmas spirit, Jess. We've got one more gift to go. Well, if the past two weeks are any indication, I doubt it. Anyway, that's all for now. We'll see you next time on the Dan Classic Show. Raz Holly, hit the 